question um, the gospel is the good news basically that's what it means is the good news of how Jesus paid for our sins so that we could receive his perfection and his righteousness just by believing in him so let me give you this illustration right so I've got two branches here right which one do you think is dead Definitely this one. <laughs> right? Okay. Because it's it's withered and it's yeah, it looks screams dead, right? And say this represents those people that you think, well, they are definitely sinners. Murderer, rapist, all the things you can think about, right? And then this say represents the person who gives a lot, the person who's very moral, does a lot of good deeds, right? But this is what the gospel does. The gospel views both of them as sinners. Imagine that. The Bible says in Romans 3, 23, yes? Uh, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But it goes on further to say, but all are justified by the grace that is found through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ. So in essence, both of them are dead. But when they put their faith in Christ, we are born again. He gives us new life and new righteousness. So God gifts us God's righteousness like this jacket. And when he sees that, he sees us and he sees you, if you believe in Jesus, he doesn't see your sins. He sees Jesus' perfection. So all we do is believe in him. Like the Bible says in this very famous verse, I'm sure you know it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life. So when you believe in him, your sins are forgiven, you are cleansed and you know you're giving it you're given eternal life. And you don't work for it. It's a gift given to you. So in essence, that's the gospel. Alright. Well thank you for your time. Thank you.